Welcome back to Inspired by Dreams with Diana. Another year, another decade. I wish you all a very happy new year, happy 2020, and wishing you all achieve all your dreams and goals that you have set for this year. Having said that, I am so thrilled today to introduce another interesting guest who is here to share her story with us. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of mixed media drawing and painting mm -hmm. 
and it reunited with me with like my true self, my ultimate passion. And it's been so healing mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Wow. And I have this strong passion um, for drawing insects because a lot of people overlook them. And they're yeah. like these tiny little beings with extraordinary bodies, anatomies, ecosystems, yeah. ecologies. And so in order to stay calm, um, I just started drawing insects okay. and then I started painting yeah. and I would ask myself while drawing, you know, what makes me feel the most loved aside from my child, yeah. what makes me feel the most loved? Nature. So I just started to explode with all these drawings and paintings using materials that other people were throwing out. Materials oh. that you know, like that, I would reuse and repurpose from groceries or going through the recycle bin, um, and just doing these mixed media backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So, like this one, um, oh. and butterfly. Yeah. yeah, and I don't have a degree in fine arts, but again, my time with nature, mm -hmm. like I, I like to say that. Um, nature is, they're contributors to my art, yeah. my art, anything and everything that inspires what I create. Mm -hmm. So like butterflies and flowers and all this material, they are participants of this creativity and it was, you know, it's the sun, it's the moon, it's the water, it's the plants, it's the trees that teach me color theory. They teach me contour, they teach me shading, they also teach me that lines are not always straight, right? Yeah, which is true. Yeah, yeah. so like, I think it's called curvilinear geometry, so lines, they turn, they spiral, they, they're sinuous, mm -hmm. and so movement is also something that inspires my work. Mm -hmm. So specifically this piece, mm -hmm. I started doing right after the, surgical oncologist said that I had calcification. Mm -hmm. um, is there an artwork that um, you're most uh, proud of? Part of these works that you have so far? I, yeah. Yeah? Um, I'm very proud of this one. This oh, piece. okay. Um, nice. Um, and then this piece. Yeah. So I actually started creating this background um, before my diagnosis. Yeah. And while well, I started doing this one um, when I was preparing for one of my biopsies, a surgical biopsy. So in between those, um, the surgical biopsies, the two lumpectomies, and before my unilateral mastectomy, mm -hmm. I was working on this. Mm -hmm. And again, I just kept having dreams of butterflies, and everywhere I was walking, I encountered butterflies. I love butterflies. Me too. Yeah. I love butterflies. And I, butterflies were telling me, the messages that I was taking from them was, okay, this is, there's a lot of change happening, a lot of unexpected change. And it was scary, and emotionally, like emotion, it was an emotional turmoil. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, trying to remain balanced and calm for my child. Um, I didn't tell anyone at the time because I didn't want to worry everyone until I knew exactly what was going on. Mm -hmm. Because so many people in my life were so busy, and then just I couldn't just keep it inside and I couldn't repress it so I just needed to, to paint and express myself and draw yeah. and I had all these old acrylics yeah. and I had all this old paper mm -hmm. and so I drew these butterflies and again this was like knife palette painting Wow. Um, yeah. and then I did the, these butterflies separately, cut them out, and then pasted them on this background that I made beforehand, which is a combination of ink, liquid acrylic, and alcohol, and um, water, Beautiful. and um, I think vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Yeah, and then I pasted these butterflies, Yeah. and then I drew these ladybugs, because ladybugs 
remind me of my mom. Aww. So when I was a child, I was obsessed with insects. And mm -hmm. I, my mom just used to always love that I loved ladybugs. <laughs> and my connection with my mom yes. were ladybugs. <laughs> she would, and strawberries. But um, it, I did them to kind of like say like, there's a universe in all of us. I love yeah. space, learning about it's stars true. and mm -hmm. galaxies. Mm -hmm. And all of us, humans, Ladybugs, the nature, the butterflies, nature. nature. Like there's a universe in all of us. We're like composites of composites. Mm -hmm. So many things that make us who we are. Yeah. It is important for us to have the connection with the nature. For me, it is. And um, human activity has done so much damage. Yeah to earth, the water, the plants, the trees, animals, ourselves. Yeah. Which is why while I was doing this work in other drawings, mm -hmm. um, I felt like um, the pain involved with the surgeries and the emotional mm -hmm. anguish involved mm -hmm. with everything mm -hmm. um, made me feel like I was actually experiencing possibly like what the water and the earth and the trees feel from all the pollution that we've created yeah. and the greed from the global capitalist economy. Mm -hmm. And it started to encourage me to think about cancer in trees. So, well, you know, yeah. I see butterflies, I see trees. <laughs> yeah. Great, um, great. Yeah. That's, that's the great information that you just shared right now Thank um, you. with us, Danny. So I know you were mentioning that you do have a son. So tell me a little bit about how did he take about uh, your situation? Yeah, um, he was amazing. Our children are the best. And how people, old is he? Uh, he's eight right now. So, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he was, oh, he was. So probably he was around six he or was, five? Yeah, I guess entering grade one, mm -hmm. six. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, it was really, this art helped me mm -hmm. figure out how to communicate with my son about the diagnosis. Wow. So I decided to not tell him until I had to prepare for my mastectomy. Mm -hmm. So I had to um, get my left breast removed before the cancer had spread to my lymph nodes. And, and it was just uh, <laughs> it was a lot of change. Yeah. Um, and him witnessing me do art really mm -hmm. helped him um, handle the diagnosis really well. He was just sitting there and I learned about this amazing video from, I think it was from um, rethinkbreastcancer.ca or .com, mm -hmm. but Rethink Breast Cancer. They have these amazing videos for parents to tell their children about their cancer diagnoses. And there was one uh, about aliens in space preparing um, another alien for surgery. And so I just told him about, um, I used a particular language for his age group. And I used the video as a reference before I showed the video. And then he, he loved the video. <laughs> he kept saying, can I watch the video again? And then after we watched the video for the second time, I asked him, like, how do you feel? Um, you can share anything you want, thoughts, questions, feelings. I am not going to get upset mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And if you want even, like, you can grab, you know, our art materials and just express yourself with any of this. I had pencil crayons and markers, crayons, mm -hmm. pens, and a lot of paper. And he looked at me and he's like, I just want to make sure you're going to be okay, right? And I said, yes. I'm like, how does it make you feel? And he's like, well, it makes me feel angry. And he said it so calmly, and it makes me feel really sad. Mm -hmm. But I think the surgery is its going to make you feel better, right? And I said, yeah. And I'm like, would you like to draw your anger and your sadness and any other emotion that you feel and thoughts? And he's like, mm-hmm. And he just, I didn't even have to pass him any of the materials he grabbed pens and pencil cranes and markers and he just started Aww. scribbling and creating lines and just you know, express himself yeah. and express himself with a lot of colors yeah. and then afterwards he just put the pencils down on the table and 
sat back and went, Oh, came up and then he just gave me a big hug. Oh, yeah, it was so sweet, so beautiful, and he was amazing. Um, he really wanted to start doing martial arts, wow. and so he also inspired me to get involved with Taekwondo and Wing Chun. And we started martial arts together after six months after my mastectomy. Wow. And after getting a mastectomy, we have to do physiotherapy quite quickly so that the muscles don't get locked. Mm -hmm. So we have to move our arms a lot. And we also have to prevent um, lymphedema from developing, okay. um, which can be really painful. And I'm lucky that I didn't experience lymphedema, and I hope we never will. It can happen any time after your lymph nodes are taken out of your armpit. But we did karate together, and then he inspired me to start doing martial arts portraits. So this is my son. Aw, what's his name? His name is Arkadi. Arkadi. Yeah. Nice. And this is him being graded, and he was breaking a board, because we get to Aww. break boards. And our, our instructor helped me heal from my mastectomy. Wow. Yeah, and it's been it's, helpful, it's such a beautiful yeah. thing, you know, um, to do a class together with your child. Um, it's such an inspiration for both, both likewise, you know, because yeah. uh, I have the same experience. Uh, my, me, myself, did uh, take karate with my okay. son. Oh, yeah. that's amazing! <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I did, so it's I can relate, I can relate. Yeah, that's yeah. so great. Yeah, it is, yeah. It actually motivated him to yes. get to black belt, which motivated me to get a black belt because you both support each other. Wow, right? you have your black yeah. belt. That <laughs> is amazing. It is not easy. It's, <laughs> it's hard not, work, yes. but it's so healing and it's fun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow, right on. <laughs> so yeah, before, so before we end this, um, a lot of the people who I've met who have metastatic breast cancer have also shown me so much love. And so I just ask like, if we can, there's so much more healing that needs to be done. We need, there's so much healing that needs to be done from all of that and it's all connected and it all interconnects with cancer as well. And so I just really hope that in my healing process and whatever anyone else has to heal from whatever it is, to just try to be kind to yourself. So, and from my experiences, I had to learn how to be more kind to myself, more compassionate to myself, and loving and honest, and then that way I can be that to other people, especially my child, especially. And thank you, Daddy, for uh, sharing such an interesting and very sensitive matter, by the way, and for actually bringing it on screen here and sharing with us. We truly appreciate it and wishing you all the very best. Thank you. And um, Thank you. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. And by the way, before I sign off, uh, this is my favorite, favorite picture <laughs> of hers. I love this butterfly. And if you guys ever need to purchase one, feel free to see her contact details right below and uh, support her, please. Um, until I see you guys on my next video, dream big, achieve big. Ciao from Diana.